we are very different. That's all I need to know. Thank you. I don't no, have no, no, time. no, 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 Jack. Please, let me talk. Oh, you have good night. No, but we can be friends. You don't night. want to be my friend. <laughs> You know, I'm 40 years old. I ain't got time for that bull. <laughs> got him. Gone are the days when the majority of men were simps, hanging on to every single word that women said to them, running around after them trying to do their chores and spending all of their hard earned money on them just to get some kitty. Things have changed. Men around the world have finally realized their true strength lies in their own masculinity. They know they have to lead and not be led by some indecisive, two-faced woman who would cheat on him as soon as she saw a dream chad with wads of cash because of their hypergamous nature. And so, men understand the concept of being friend-zoned a lot more than they used to understand it a decade ago. And to the majority of guys, being friend-zoned is just not an option because they know they'd be simps for the rest of their lives if they were to be friend-zoned. In this clip, you just saw, you just witnessed a woman trying to turn on the simp in the man she was on a date with. Little did she know, he was a class A chad now. No simping. No wasting time around with someone who doesn't want him to smash. That's right boys. Men have risen up to the demand of masculinity. Women are drawn to good guys because of the advantages they may provide. Women are drawn to bad guys because they offer intrigue and danger. So you're a good guy that's been friend zoned. I need you to listen to this. The girl that chose not to have a romantic relationship with you has no say in your worth. See, because she doesn't know you deeply. And I know that you think that she's beautiful and you want her to like you like that. And your intentions are pure. So you think that she should give you a chance, but it's her choice to not see you like that. She's not ready for that. And she may never be ready for that. So do you want to, and why would you want to wait for somebody that does not see how amazing you are. It's fascinating how women have such a wide range of perspectives and ideas about nice guys. They think it's appropriate to start a family with the nice guys once they've had their fair measure of pleasure with the bad boys during their adolescence and early adulthood. Here, the good guys come with some key assumptions, which for the most part are fairly accurate if you take a closer look. For instance, the nice guy will have checked off every item on society's fictitious checklist for successful good guys. Attending a respectable college or university is part of this. Avoiding drugs and people who could negatively affect those around them. It also includes having lucrative businesses of their own or being highly paid in the corporate world. And perhaps more significantly, there will always be good guys waiting for the girl they've liked since high school the girl they've watched fall for terrible guys one after another to understand that their future is with the one decent person who waited for her. Little do they know, these women don't have any other option now that they're in their mid-thirties. They always knew that the good guy would be around for them. They kept flirting with him throughout high school and even into college. They never slept with them, but they had some light intimate moments with them just to keep them around. These women could spot the good guys from a mile away and choose one or two of them to have them around as their long-term backup. While they partied with the bad boys and had the time of their lives, they knew that a day might come when they'd be done with the bad boys and they might eventually need someone financially secure to settle down with. They knew that the good guy waiting in the corners of her life would be financially secure, would have a decent house and a car and would still be in love with her to actually provide for her for the rest of her life. And this is why, gentlemen, these single good guys get friend-zoned for the most part of their lives. The era we now live in has changed significantly from how society and culture were seven or eight decades ago. When I think about these developments, one thing stands out to me in particular. Why are males approaching women differently now than they used to? What took place during this period? Men chase women around and make idiots of themselves, but do they really want to be with them? 
you think men find attractive when it comes to marriage a girl that's independent or a girl that independent so you still think it's independent yes. so do you think that men are attracted to the same things that women are attracted to yes okay, so ladies <laughs> when you're married do you expect your husband to pay off the debts you acquired prior to being with him raise a hand if you think you should pay off your debt who else why do you think you should pay off your debt go ahead uh he have to pay for all my stuff <laughs> okay yes yeah, pay for everything simple. yes Okay, what would he get in return for doing that for you? Um, my love, my smile, and taking care of uh, treating Bruh. me like... Uh, you think that's equal value? I like it. Your I smile and your love? For me, it's nice, yes. And him paying all your debt, it's, it's the same? For my stuff, yes. So for you, it's My nice, money, but... it's mine. His money, is ours. Okay. Sure. <laughs> but she wants to be a modern woman when it suits her, too. Yeah, facts. <laughs> I love you. I caught that. Yeah. The reality of modern women. They want the best of both worlds. They want the man to simp for them, but they're not going to give the men anything in return. Why would a man give everything he has, work every day of his life, and dedicate his time and energy to a woman, just for a smile and a whole lot of attitude? Doesn't make sense. Today, men aren't simps that women can just free and zone and exploit for their advantage whenever it suits them. Men have had enough. And this is why they aren't even approaching women anymore. I believe the reason is that males typically weigh the advantages and disadvantages of any decision before acting. The disadvantages of approaching women today outweigh the advantages by a wide margin. Today, approaching women nearly always results in humiliation, being called a weirdo, or just being ignored and socially shunned. Why? Because most males are perceived by women as predators or desperate men. They will be fine if they already know a guy and want him to contact them, but that is another matter. But it is simply not worthwhile for a male to approach an unidentified woman. There are too many risks, social embarrassment, total ignorance, and a generalized dread of rejection are just some of the reasons why men choose to avoid approaching women. If a man approached a lady respectfully to start a conversation, she would likely embarrass him, more often than not. In a video I saw, a man makes an absolute mess of himself by trying to talk to a woman without being rude or odd. The woman fabricated the claim that the contact was unusual and posted it to social media for laughs, attention, and perhaps a shot at becoming viral. I found myself thinking why in the world I would want to approach a woman today as I saw this happen. To understand why this is happening, we also need to understand that different women treat different guys in different ways. I want you guys to think about social standing and how one's value affects how they are treated. Think about times when you were approached by a homeless person in your own life. You went on the defensive right away and determined not to talk to them or give them anything. The same is true for women. They're big on social status and image. Even though their circumstances are significantly worse now than they were a century ago. Women must constantly be extra cautious, since a man may take them against their will at any time. However, the issue arises when you witness a woman publicly humiliate a man for merely approaching her in a public place, with onlookers. If we dig a little deeper, we can only come to the conclusion that modern women no longer value the average guy or men in general. Do you believe Mark Zuckerberg would be treated the same way? by a woman who is known for treating the average men who approach her with contempt. As I indicated before, a woman will treat different guys differently depending on how she perceives them. She will treat the man as though he is useless or inferior if she doesn't believe he is better than her. She would treat a man with respect and be more accepting of him, though, if she feels that he is superior to her. Watch the interactions between a woman and her employer. Consider who she would treat respectfully if they came to her. You like Boss. it when a girl is loud in bed? Reasonably, yeah. Like, oh, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, it's like, who you, who are you lying to? Come on. I know it's not all like that. I know that. Why are you lying to all of us? Now, now, I, now I feel like you're faking it, which makes me think you're not enjoying any of it. But also... Make some noise, for sure. Like, if, if, you're, if, if you're letting me just, like, do my best work, 
as as passionately as I can and you're dead silent, I'm like, who was in here before me? <laughs> because I'm I'm putting in my best work right now. <laughs> Nothing. Has it ever crossed your Modern women clearly have no respect for men anymore. And I think the majority of guys have decided not to talk to these women because they have realized this. Men have made the decision to just refrain from any actions that enable women to treat them disrespectfully and to belittle them. Men have noticed that women's treatment of men has worsened over time. They have made the decision to put their name, integrity, and respect before the disdain and denigration that women have shown them. Seriously. I'd be much better off avoiding women myself because, I promise, I've heard tales of girls harassing women who then call the cops on them. Obviously, there was nothing wrong with the men, they just weren't as attractive, or perhaps, didn't make millions of dollars. So why then would I or anyone else subject themselves to anything like this? It is not logical. Additionally, I believe that a significant portion of women are simply no longer worth contacting. I believe women desire men's validation in public so they may flaunt it in their circles, embarrass the man, and feel validated. Something they might lack in every aspect of their real life. Can one even approach modern women? Not under these circumstances. Men simply have had it with women's constant whining and unreasonable expectations. Women don't desire unattractive men. Anyone who drives a Honda or Toyota instead of the latest Tesla is not who they are looking for. They won't settle for a man who makes less than a certain amount of money. They keep cheating on men, despite having everything they want. And they certainly don't want to approach guys, because guess what? They can't seem to hold a basic conversation with strangers. I mean, that's what women say about men who approach them, right? 